Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to show you how to connect your WearFed GT106 with WearFed 2.0 app. So you can see we have our app already downloaded. You can see we have here a couple of options to enter. We have the sign in option, we have third party login with Facebook or enter directly. You can see at the top I'm going to enter directly because it's easier for me. We have here some personal information. I highly recommend you to log in with account and this information for yourself fill up these very carefully and correctly so you get more accurate data. This is the first page of the app. You can see we have three pages down below. The second page discovery and the me is the third page. Here at the third page we will find the port when we have to connect, connect our device. So let's go ahead see. So here at the third page we have the connect man management, press search. And it will take a couple of seconds, maybe a couple of tries. You can see right now the search has stopped. It doesn't found our device. But in the second search, it found it immediately, which is very odd. So you can see GT106, the first one. And let's see if it's connected. You can see now it says connected or device is connected with the phone and that will take you a couple of seconds as we did maybe for you it will work better than us so it's that easy to connect so you can see in the first page we have here measurements we have heart rate blood pressure blood oxygen and fatigue level you can see right now it's measuring all of them which is a very good thing to have you can see the statistic for heart rate, blood pressure, blood oxygen and fatigue are here. And you can check it out your data for the whole week. Next we have here steps data. You can see today activities, no data. We have total distance, total steps and uh, calories burned. Which you can see what you did throughout the day or the week. And you can check with date you can change the date and check what you did for example yesterday or two days ago we have sleep data as well awake time light sleep deep sleep and sleep time in general we saw the heart rate option or heart rate blood pressure blood oxygen and fatigue uh, data and also we have the weekly report at the end let's see here after fatigue we have the weekly report as i said you can check out your this week, last week or two weeks ago as you saw in the date part which you can change. You have here all the health caring options and all the data that is necessary for you to see. So this app is very good with these type of stuff. In the second page as you can see discovery we have here health check in and as I said I recommend you to enter with an account because it doesn't let you use all the things that you have here. We have COVID-19 data and World Health Organization and other stuff which you can read or not necessary but you have information for them. In the third page which is me, you have here your personal information as we saw before at the beginning which again you have to fill up these correctly so you get more accurate data. You have here age, height, weight, step length, we have distance, height, and we have other things for yourself which are necessary for the data that you will get. After personal information we have expectation details, device management when we connected, you can see we have the percentage of battery, fine bracelet, photograph, connection management, smart reminder. 
Here at the small reminder we have call reminder, message reminder, alarm clock, sanitary reminder, app notification and set quiet hours, hand up screen, hourly measurement and fireware update if any of them came. This is the app that we use today and these are the settings. You can see we have here 12 hour system, Google Fit and other stuff. These are just optional. So this is the app, Wear Fit 2.0. Let's go ahead and see now how the notification will work in the GT106 after we allow these notifications. You can see with fine bracelet it vibrates and it powers on the screen which you can hear if you lose your device. We have here shake to take photo of the option. It works better if you have in your wrist but I couldn't wear it throughout the video because of different reasons and sometimes it works sometimes not. So guys, this was all for today's video. I hope you found this video interesting and helpful. If so, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you in the next video with another smartwatch.